Hi guys, welcome to my, what's this, 29 week pregnancy vlog. I am coming to you from my couch with my hot chocolate <laughs> and it is um, 25 to 11 at night. I have had insomnia. If you can't realize that, not insomnia, but yeah, pretty much insomnia. <laughs> no, I can't sleep very well lately. I just want to tidy and clean and organize and get ready and that kind of thing. Nesting, I think is what the correct term would be. Um, craving this week has been hot chocolate and... Um, weird craving for donut have not satisfied that craving yet <laughs> but apart from that not much else because i've actually been really off sugar i've been having quite bad morning sickness again and i've been craving salt um so pretty similar to the first trimester where i craved salt and it was more because like plain salty things to kind of help the nausea and morning sickness so um that's i've been wanting more savory things but even then i'm not like hungry um, my tummy feels very full um baby's pushing on my stomach and my tummy just feels like it's popping literally popping right open um yeah i feel full i don't i suppose like the more pregnant you get the less hungry you actually are because your stomach is just so full there's no space and no way to digest because everything is the baby's just focused on the baby you know i don't know if that makes any sense but that's how it feels to me um let me just tell you how delicious this um oh i actually took my wedding ring off and i'm not sure where i put it now i was crocheting and it gets in the way but um look for that uh yeah i'm i just made some hot milk with some chocolate warmed it up with a little bit of hot water mm, before i go to sleep and it is ordinary milk because for some reason i know i started out i wasn't really having dairy but oh excuse me for some reason I've really, really, really just been craving dairy this past week and I think it's got something to do with the baby, calcium, um, that kind of thing. Um, sorry, one day I'll get more professional with these and I'll put my phone in a tripod or something like that. But yeah, um, so I haven't really... Um, prevented myself from eating anything that I've really wanted this pregnancy I've just followed what my body is asking for followed what it needs um and yeah uh it's been going well for me and this week was an exciting one I had my baby shower and that was amazing it was so much so 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 much fun um I was kind of like nervous for it because i don't really like things to be oh sorry guys i'm just gonna put this down i feel like it's gonna spill on me one second mm. i don't love for things to be i don't like to be the center of attention usually and i must say i was i felt a bit awkward at some points um opening presents in front of people and um, taking photos of people the whole time. I also didn't feel that great because I'm not really used to wearing makeup and a friend of mine so generously offered to do my makeup and my hair and I haven't really done that um, in I don't know how long. Like I never, I never do my makeup and I never put makeup on and I never get my makeup done or don't really get my hair done or do my hair up I think it's still a bit curly but it hasn't been brushed out 
as you can see, but I, yeah, I, I just felt um, not natural. So, ugh, yeah, no, but it was, it was special. It was really nice. Um, the baby got so spoiled. I got so spoiled. I'll add some beautiful pictures in the, in the blog post. Um, my friend really went all out in terms of like trying to make everything the way I wanted it um, with my theme and my colors and color scheme and just like my favorite things I had macaroons to eat which I ate quite a few of which was delicious and then she got a cake made for me baby really um, for the baby and it was beautiful and I got um, um some friends all just brought like plates of food and um i made a punch like a virgin punch obviously and then there was some champagne and wine for whoever wanted those who drink um and then a friend of mine who's also pregnant who i met through this youtube channel uh my blog she came and that was amazing. Um, I really loved having her there and I loved just going on this journey with another mama and just being able to relate, you know. I was actually saying to Trav over the weekend that it's because I, I had a baby shoot over the weekend with a three-month baby and a maternity shoot as well on Sunday. I was working the whole of Sunday and... Um, I just said to him, it's so beautiful the way that as you immerse yourself into motherhood, as you become a mother from the moment that you're pregnant, um, other mom, well, my experience has been that every other mom, new mom, any mom, especially new moms on a, on like a, the timeline is quite close. Um, they really just make you feel so a part of community like a community of women and as you become a mom the second you're pregnant you just join this community that no one you could never have joined before and no one can really understand unless they're in it and it's just the most beautiful it's so welcoming every every mom I've seen for a photo shoot or um or I've met through my blog or um Instagram or whatever they've been amazing like even if I just ask a question they're like yeah let me tell you let me give you advice let me do this this is what we use this is like they don't get annoyed with my millions of questions or anything and I just find it to be the most refreshing thing ever because they are so such beautiful people out there still and I say still because we've in an age where I didn't expect people to take so much time out of their day when they don't really know me to explain things to me or help me out and it's so it's so beautiful and I hope that I can do that too either through this or um if you want to send me an Instagram message uh or um you know whatever I mean maybe I'll know a bit more once the baby comes but you know just to talk to someone who's going through the same thing is just it makes you feel a part of something bigger which it really is. Motherhood is just the most beautiful, beautiful journey. And it's like you have something to connect on. And suddenly, um, this friend of mine, Amy, so we we literally met once and we bonded over something and we just get on so well. We just we just it was something that bonded us, but we actually really would have gone on had it not been for that. But I mean it was something that brought us together and it's just something that and will now be a part of our lives forever and it's the most beautiful thing so yeah that was that's something that's been the most amazing amazing part of this journey so far is meeting other moms and I'm so uh, grateful and lucky that I am in the industry that I'm in so I I've been it's so strange um when I was getting engaged and getting married I had a lot of engagement shoots and wedding shoots and um I suppose because uh, word of mouth and my friends are similar ages, uh, going through similar things. But I hadn't, as I've said before, Trav and I are actually the first of my friends to have 
a baby and um, his a few of his friends have have babies but they're um, quite a bit older Trav's older than me and his friends are older than him so but they're not my friends and it's not it's not my um, they're my friends but it's not my close friends so it's yeah it's something that I've loved making new friends with and no one you know my best friend I can talk to about everything but at the end of the day she's not pregnant and not going through it and not a mom yet and doesn't um she can't relate on the same level that someone who is or has been through it can so that's been beautiful um what else so yeah i had a beautiful baby shower got so so spoiled got so many things that i needed and things that i didn't even know i needed <laughs> And things I probably don't need, but they are so cute and so fun. And I think I got a lot of things that I needed as opposed to things that are just fun to buy for babies because I don't know, we don't know the gender. So people didn't splurge on like clothes and things like that. Um, they got us more necessities, which is not that clothes aren't a necessity, but um, my thinking is that once I've got... A lot of newborn nor to three and a few um three to six clothes but once i know the gender and once the baby grows but older i think it's better to buy clothes as you go along also you don't know how long it's going to fit in a certain outfit or how big your baby's going to be and how fast it's going to grow so yeah i know it's um and it also leaves room to have some fun when you know the gender so that's quite fun and get all the necessities now. So there's a few more things that I need that we, we actually got a little bit of money from some people and we bought our last few things we needed, which was a co-sleeper and um, I still need a bath, but we got a co-sleeper and we got, what did I get? A microwave sterilizer. I still need to get milk storage bags. For my breast milk, um, I still need to figure out, there's certain things that I don't really know and I, I can't wait to talk to the lactation specialist about like how do you, ugh, I'll just google it or something, but I mean like how do you, um, I know you can't heat up breast milk, so I think like how do you unfreeze it, so I think you take it out the freezer and then, I don't know if you leave it out, I think you put it in the fridge to thaw or what if you need it then? So the, the, these are just things that keep me awake at like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> um, but I'm sure I'll learn them quickly. And then I feel a bit overwhelmed sometimes because I'm like, oh my gosh, all these things. But when you break them down, you're like, okay, I'm just being silly. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, apart from, I feel very a little more similar to the first trimester at the moment. I feel very nasty I feel very um not not very well I feel very tired and um not very hungry as opposed to the second trimester where I was flipping ravenous and eating all the time and um just had this hunger and uh, um I felt didn't feel sick at all not really not not much at all um for the second half of the tr second trimester um but yeah, I do have to eat quite often during the day just to keep my nausea at bay. Because once my stomach gets very empty, I think the acid comes back up. I'm not sure what happens, but I, I don't. It makes the nausea worse. And I haven't been able to take my pregnancy vitamin in the morning for the past um, week or so. Just because of... Oh, it just makes the nausea so much worse in the morning. And I find, I don't know if anyone else finds this, but I find that... If I drink water first thing in the morning on an empty stomach, I really, really feel so nauseous. Or I can't drink tea. The funniest thing throughout my pregnancy, I haven't been able to drink tea. I threw up tea twice in the first trimester and I was like, can't do it again. I just can't. I haven't been able to drink tea. But um, even, in, even if I drink like a big glass of water, I feel very nauseous afterwards. I don't know if it's the... I don't know what it is. I don't know. And I love water. I love drinking usually. So, like, I mean, like a big glass of water will make me feel so nauseous. But 
I can drink apple tizer. So like a bit of apple tizer with soda and ice, which um, doesn't make me feel that bad. And I sip on it and it's, uh, it's quite good. Still craving ice. Um, and yeah, that apple tizer at smoothies. Uh, I've been having a bit more fun with smoothies because I've been having more dairy now. So I've been having like berry yogurt smoothies. In the morning, um, frozen yogurt smoothies with berries, and yeah, those kind of things. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I don't know what else I can tell you from this week. This next week, we are going away for our little baby moon. It's my birthday on Sunday, I'm turning 28, and I feel so old. <laughs> um, I feel like an adult now. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah um strange how many now everything's happening i feel kind of uh toward uh, there's like eight weeks and six days left or something like that i don't know i'm looking at my calendar or whatever i feel very uh, not overwhelmed not nervous but excited but also in my head i always i thought like oh there was so much time and i went very slowly up until now and now the time is just going so quickly and there's so many things to do in this last um uh, block of time before the baby comes and um yeah i'm i'm getting uncomfortable my my stomach is very big um it's not big but it's big for me feels big for me and um getting a bit uncomfortable at night um yeah what else can i say i have the baby's been having a lot of hiccups as well um i think that's pretty much it really let me show you my tummy before i drink my hot chocolate that's probably now cold hot chocolate um so uh, that's my tummy. There's my beautiful <laughs> elephant that was my friend did for my baby shower. So this is a tummy at the end of the day. That's the front. Sorry, I can't lift my top up too high because I don't have a bra on. Another thing that's quite frustrating is that none of my clothes fit me. I do have some... Um, I've got some uh, maternity clothes, but uh, the dresses and it's getting quite chilly. I'm so grateful that it's getting cold because I've been having these like hot flushes come randomly, um, hormones, pregnancy. And um, I now understand why people say it's not nice to be fully pregnant in the middle of a heat wave or summer. Uh, because... Yeah, it's just to you so big in your body and so I just feel big and hot and I get hot and I get cold and hot and cold and especially hot. I'm usually a cold person, but I need to sleep with a fan on still and it's like usually by my birthday I'm already in like winter clothing, even though it's still autumn technically. Uh but it's always a bit chilly. But yeah, um can you believe this tummy? So definitely a bit smaller in the morning. Oh, and I've noticed, I'll try and add it, like I've been getting this Linear Nigra, um, which is so, I've been wanting to get it. Some women don't like it. I think it's beautiful and it represents um, motherhood and pregnancy. And yeah, ah, let me go because this is becoming very long and I am getting tired hopefully so i will speak to you guys next week um for my 30 week pregnancy vlog i'm 30 weeks tomorrow so that's crazy i'll see you guys in a week lots of love bye